uh, the correlation between crypto assets and any other asset is extremely low, um, uh, which means for diversification purposes, uh, crypto is a very interesting asset. I know that uh, this fear that inflation at 7%, uh, which is the CPI right now, on a year-over-year -year basis, uh, is getting embedded into the system because wages are rising and so forth. Uh, and uh, so what we're seeing on the monetary and fiscal front right now is effectively significant tightening already uh, on the monetary front. We've seen uh, money growth go from 27% at its peak during the coronavirus, the depths of the coronavirus, uh, to 13% recently. But if you look at it um, a little more closely uh, and uh, at a, in a shorter term time uh, horizon, we're down to 8% growth uh, on a three month basis, 6.5% on a two-month basis, and uh, we, we believe that uh, money growth will continue to slow quite significantly, especially if the Fed does raise interest rates. Now, we wouldn't be surprised to see the interest rates go up in March. Uh, many people, after today's employment report, uh, are beginning to think that 50 basis points is the number, that the Fed will basically telegraph that it means business and that it's going to head inflation off at the pass. They may do that. Uh, and uh, if they do, however, we think the stars are aligning in such a way that they will get the message very quickly that they don't need to do much more. Uh, so they might want to do the 50 basis points just to say, OK, we're done for a while. Now, What's interesting about the market's uh, reaction to this possibility is that strategists out in our world are now uh, trying to leapfrog each other saying, OK, I think it's at least three more tightenings after that or four. Uh, I've even heard altogether seven. Uh, so uh, the reaction you've seen in the equity market recently is is a uh, uh, is fear, I think, that the Fed is going to go too far too fast. On the innovation front and and on uh, market indicators, uh, crypto cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ether, uh, they they have corrected uh, with the equity markets. More and more hedge funds are involved in them. So when the market corrects, we do see higher correlations these days. Although uh, over a full market cycle, uh, the correlations uh, the correlation between crypto assets and any other asset is extremely low, um, uh, which means for diversification purposes, uh, crypto is a very interesting asset. In our Big Ideas uh, 2022, you will see uh, how we break out crypto. Our understanding is evolving and uh, we are, uh, are able to describe it in three ways, a money revolution, a financial revolution, and a uh, next generation internet or metaverse uh, revolution. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Uh, so if that piques your interest, do take uh, a look at our uh, Big Ideas 2022. Um, I'm very proud of our research. Uh, our research uh, is unlike anything else you'll see out there. You will see ours because we give it away. Uh, again, unlike uh, most other firms, uh, meaning we give it all away. Now, I have spoken to uh, some really good uh, value investors, um, you know, who've been doing this all their lives and asked them, you know, is if interest rates were to move into the two to three percent range, let's say, as measured by the long term Treasury yield, 
which parts of the market, given where we are now, uh, would be hit? And uh, the the answer that I found most interesting and that I, I think we've just uh, seen in Facebook is it would be the more mature growth companies that are facing some competition and um, and not the the super growth companies that are just entering into uh, their uh, exponential growth trajectories. Uh, so again, another argument for new new growth. Uh, and uh, the private markets know it because private market valuations have only gone up over the last year. Uh, we're writing a, a paper gathering the data on this right now, but in the last year, as true disruptive innovation strategies depreciated 50% or more, uh, private market, which is uh, around, which focuses on disruptive innovation, private market valuations seems to have doubled. Uh, there's really something wrong with that picture. Uh, and uh, I think the private markets have it more right. There's more innovation uh, taking place today uh, at, than there ever has been in history. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn $500,000, million, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.